Welcome to another episode of Puppet Action News. This is Ted E. Grizzly. Our story for today. We are going to have an interview with DJ Doggy Howler on his experience on being the host of the Puppet Game Show. We will take you live to our reporter bunny for this interview. Well, Mr. DJ Doggy Howler, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. So, what was it like hosting the Puppet Game Show? Well, it was pretty nerve-wracking, but Blink Winkerton told me to do my best, and that's exactly what I did. And it shows you did a really great job on your first day hosting the game show. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, what was it like meeting Blink Winkerton? Well, he's a really nice guy, and he even told me that I did a great job as well, and that he is enjoying his retirement. Oh, uh, yes, he told us that as well. Well, I hope you do more of the Puppet Game Show. Well, me too. And again, I will do my very, very best. Yeah, I understand you gave away a total of $160,000, and that Toad won the opportunity to listen to an Ivana song. Oh, yes. That's a pretty good start. Uh, I hope you give away more money next time. Well, me too. I hope to give away the million dollars. I would love to do that. I hope you will. I hope you will. Well, thank you very much, Bunny. And thank you for this interview. You're very welcome. Thank you very much, Bunny, for that interview. And we have a developing story. The manager at McBird's restaurant has informed the manager of Kimberly's Cafe of a certain individual that has eaten all of their food. As a result, the manager not wanting to take any chances on that happening at Kimberly's Cafe, this certain individual will not be allowed in Kimberly's Cafe whatsoever. <sighs> and with that being said, this is Ted E. Grizzly signing out and thanking you for watching this episode of Puppet Action News. May God bless you all and goodbye.